Oh, thank, thank. <laughs> It just looks done and heard that lovely story. We're rem reminiscing. It's our last show today. Uh, we're leaving at 10 o'clock. Uh, Dave and I, uh, we've got a very lucrative deal uh, in Jersey. Mm. So we're off. <laughs> Why do I wait for my credit text in you, Chris, when you never give me a shout out? Big me up, son, to Steve Murray from Sector Security. Wait, see, we don't have time to mention this morning. <laughs> By the way, it's not, it's not really up. Yeah, but. why would we leave on a Tuesday? What a rubbish day to leave on. Remember the Baldy Greg day? It was brilliant, says Darren in Cornwall. If you, you still work with Baldy Greg. Baldy Greg is the Captain Dave Ward Tour Tour Manager. <laughs> really successful then. Oh, absolutely. Isn't he a marathon runner or something now? He's also. He doesn't run marathons. Yeah. Greg! Yeah. Hell no! I kid you not. Good luck. Greg has done about half a dozen marathons. He can run about. Seriously? Really? Yeah. Wow. He even did some charity race where to dress up as a gorilla. Is he still oh. not is he still not right? He's still um eccentric. Eccentric, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's currently in America with Judge Jewel, so he won't be listening. Oh really? Mm. Might have to do you? Might have. Yeah, he's not right, is he? He's eccentric. Yeah, he's, he's a one off. No, he's very funny. Mm. But for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> anyway. Thank you for all the sex. God, I remember throwing sugar lumps at the CEO clock. Yeah. That was fat and breakfast, I think. Was it? Was that the six or nine show that we did briefly? Yeah. Oh, I'm a great deal about that, is. <laughs> I liked it when we used to get guests to gargle. I, I, oh, get, say, I gargled next to uh, uh, Simon, Simon LeBond once. <laughs> and actually we did gargling harmonies. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you, Simon LeBond keeps texting me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Another show with stalker. This is the weirdest. My life is just so weird now. I'm getting stalked by Simon Le Bon from Duran Duran. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I, I don't know him. I don't, you know, I've met him like twice, three times or something. And that's over ten years. Well, one of the times I met him, I've said this recently, I think, uh, he asked if I'd remix his new album. I'm so dead, so I'm not that kind of DJ. Well, on your laptop. You don't remember this story. <laughs> hey, I think it, how do you, how do you find your remix to the album? No, no, Simon, but I'm a radio DJ. I'm not a, I'm not like a producer DJ. <laughs> Imagine sitting in the studio for six weeks and playing some <laughs> crappy. <laughs> Chris, this is rubbish. I know, it's my first time. <laughs> I don't even know what other buttons do. Send it to him on an email or something. Put up his set. Just bit by bit. <laughs> Final text then, it says, uh, Chris, what about Hello, I'm Listening? Great um, thing. See, that's always my favourite. We'll bring it back. Can we? Brilliant. Right, right, right now. Why not? We should do. Hello, I'm Listening was great. We, we just used to ring our mates. Well, no, first of all, there were two versions. There'd be a register and tell us when you listen to the show, and then we might just ring you at any point, and you have to answer saying, Hello, I'm Listening. But there was a kind of club that we used to ring, which was... You know, sort of friends and family, wasn't it? Yeah. That's how it started. And then every so often we'd ring someone from senior management and then be appalled when they weren't. We ran, we ran <laughs> out of the car at the boss and he was shocking with his missus. And, he, and he'd been listening to the show, right? Parked the, part the car, got out of the car, went into the shop with his missus. Just at the time we'd go to ring, so he goes, Hello? But we, but we never, we'd say, we wouldn't speak unless they said hello and listening. Yeah. So if we rang them and they went, Hello? We'd all go, Ooh. Hello? Ooh. Hello? Ooh. Put the phone down. I just remember Rachel said, Who was that? That's a box. Sweetie. I was going to try a little impromptu round of it in a bit, can we? Yeah. Do it now. Yeah, Who's up at seven? I, I could have a number, but. Now? Yeah. Really? I used to love listening to the Fast Show. It's brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Oh, right, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. yeah, why not? This is always good. Yeah. This person usually is. This is quite dangerous. It's quite an easy one, though, this, this is. is. really a, It's a minute to seven. This is quite an easy okay. one. Is that a... Uh, what is that, a four? Six. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> is that a four? <laughs> <laughs> so you have to answer your phone with, hello, I'm listening. Right? Yeah. Mm. That's the way the game works. <laughs> I hope you hear the phone. Away. Hello, I'm listening. Yay! Yay! Who's that? Oh, morning, Rachel's mum. Uh, Rachel, yes, I'm here. Are you, are you listening on a digital radio? Yes. 
Oh, yeah, sorry, go on. Go. No, no, it's fine, I love the delay. <laughs> um, what, you get up early, don't you? I do get up very early, yes. I'm sitting making Christmas cards at the moment. Wow, uh, that's very organised. Uh, usually I'm playing on the computer, but my son is staying and he's got the computer in his room, so I have a problem this morning. <laughs> so you're, you're sitting making Christmas cards at 7 o'clock in the morning? Uh, yeah, yes. You know what, Rachel, that explains a hell of a lot. <laughs> it does. It? <laughs> it's October. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Jones. Have a lovely day. Bye. Bye. Hey, uh, Ray, what, what's, your, what's your brother doing on, on your mum's computer history? <laughs> <laughs> and why has he moved it? No, it's a monumental thing. My brother's actually gone home, so the computer's in that room, you <laughs> see. My mother's begging to <laughs> And your brother's locked his over in the room with a computer. <laughs> <laughs> On the extraordinary family. <laughs> my dad will be asleep still. <laughs> yeah, that's so. That's very organised, isn't it, making Christmas cards in October? I know, he's been on a course and everything. Oh, what a course to make Christmas cards? Yeah. Yes, you wait till you carry. Stop, everybody, just stop. Your mother has been on a course to yes. teach you how to make Christmas cards. With Betty, our next right. door neighbour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, you seem to have, you seem to have, have somehow time warped your life into that of an Alan Partridge. Yes. <laughs> your mum goes to Christmas card making courses with Betty. Yes. Rachel. What are you doing when you retire? Rachel. Look, yes. imagine I'm your mum or Betty. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you see that piece of A4? Watch. And this isn't origami. <laughs> One fold. Right? Happy Christmas. <laughs> There you go, Dave. Mine would be a lot better than That's that. That's a Christmas card. It is, it is a one afternoon course. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be that oh, long, yeah, sure. short one. It's yeah. not like aeronautical right. engineering. Anyway, anyway enough about my family. Good morning, Mum. Morning, Mum. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else wants to try someone? No, after that, I don't know what my mum would be doing. No. <laughs> I don't know, he'd be up now. Just try, try, try my mum. I'll, I'll, I'll give you one. Should we just all our mothers? <laughs> Oh, mine won't be up. She didn't get up. Mine, mine, mine ain't grease. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> mine ain't, mine ain't gonna be awake. Hang on. Anyway, it might be awake. She's wet the bed again. Is this yours? Try that. My mother doesn't wet the bed, by the way. Jesus, put me in the middle of the year, wet the bed. I've got a full breath. Hello, I'm listening then. Here we are. Oh, I don't know if I wake her up. Your mum's quite scary. It's not my mum. Oh, oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel's mum again. Hello, I'm listening. Hello? Hello? Who's that? It's Jane. Oh, hi, hi Jane. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were ringing your mum. I told you my mum didn't get up to Kemperies. <laughs> Hang on, let me ring her back. I won't even mess him. I'll put the phone down. I can't put the phone down. So I'll keep waking that baby up. Hello? Hi there. Oh. <laughs> a different Good morning, this one. you're right. Are you in bed? Yeah, but I'm feeding Nicole and she's just doing a great big too. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye bye. You don't want that when you have any cup of pasta. Not really. Your life has changed. Hasn't it? Yeah. After the news, we should, have, we should have a bigger challenge. I'm just feeding Nicole and she's had a poo. Oh. Wow. Well, mm. well, I don't have a nice pot. I will do more Hello I'm listening later Just with people we know We should have yeah. a bigger challenge though Somebody Not so easy on mums maybe Dads Possibly right. You know what We could actually We could broaden the game out To include two kind of games Where they have to say Hello I'm listening And we also have to guess Who it possibly is From people's phone books Ah mm. I like that. that Yeah I like that Alright Yeah he was texting in now saying, why don't ring my mum and giving us their mother's phone number? It's not, it's not for my mum. Well, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Right, that's an actual script down memory lane. Let's go on the rest of the show. Hey, my, 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 my